When using Pro Tools, you want to be able to get around your session fast. Using the Avid Pro Tools S3 Dock and Control app gives you the tools you need to create efficient workflows, allowing you to stay creative. This video will show several different ways you can use the surfaces to navigate quickly around your Pro Tools sessions. Using track colors to identify certain types of tracks in Pro Tools is a great visual tool for a quick overview of your session. You might use the default track type setting or use your own color coding scheme to know exactly what you're seeing at any given time. The great thing about these visual track colors is that they also show up on the S3 and the Control app. On the S3, the LED above the bottom row of encoders will show track color by default. And on the Control app, the name plates on the mixer page and track blocks on the mixer, tracks, and channel pages correspond with the track color in Pro Tools. A quick way to navigate around a session on the S3 is to use the bank and nudge switches. To move the tracks in groups of 16, use the bank switches. To nudge the tracks one at a time, use the nudge switches. To quickly reset the first track to the leftmost fader, press Shift, Home. And to put the last track on the rightmost fader, press Shift, End. The Tracks page on the Control app shows up to 40 tracks at a time and can scroll to show any track in the session. There are several ways to see beyond the 40 channels on the screen. You can swipe up and down in the Tracks area to scroll the page. Swipe left and right on the track scroll bar at the top of the page or tap outside of the amber highlighted area. And with the dock, you can use the bank switches to bank by page and the nudge switches to nudge by row. You can also set up to bank the S3 just by selecting a track from the scroller in the app. To do this, just go to U Control, Settings, General, and check Auto Bank to select a track. Now when you select a track from the app's track scroller, the S3 will bank that track to the first fader if it's not already on the surface. You can also further customize the tracks view on the app by turning on display breaks on track color. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner of the control app, select tracks view, and turn on display breaks on track color. Now on the tracks page, every time there is a new track color, it will start the display on the next row. This is great for quickly seeing a group of color-coded tracks, especially in large sessions. A quick way to navigate to a section of the timeline is to switch the dock's wheel mode to move selection. This will now allow you to scroll the wheel and navigate to a particular spot to work on. You can also set mark in and out points with the wheel and turn on loop transport mode if you need to loop over a certain section. We have seen several different ways that having the S3, Dock, and Control app can make navigating around even the most complex sessions fast and easy. By using these navigation methods, it is simple to create a workflow that makes getting around sessions easy and allows you to stay in your creative zone.